Welcome back to Chilling with Chili Sid and guys don't fear the reaper yeah I feel a bit like deaf in my ear today I don't know water must have gone in no idea but I received a package this week yeah well I've received a few packages and this one was from Manchester it was from a company called Devil Dog Sources so check it out Devil Dog Sources this is a card that says Devil Dog Sources and it says worth selling your soul for Devil Dog Sources check that out right now what I like a lot about this is their logo their logo i'll show you one of the bottles the reaper ones check out this logo yeah so devil dog sources that's like a, a skull of a, ho a dog with a horn on it i mean that is nice isn't it that's imaginative i like that so worth selling your soul for and i like that worth selling your soul for so i'm going to start we might have a, a frodo joining us but you know it's, it's a bit rare he's a rarity so he might not sit the whole time come here you can come and sit here do you want to help Oh, maybe because the sources are called Devil Dog and they're cats. A bit worried, yeah. Never mind, yeah, leave them to it. So what was I saying? A nice, um, let me just see the size of this bottle. It's about 150ml bottle. It's a thick one. This is a brown sauce and it looks like a really nice barbecue sauce. It's thick, yeah. So, a subtle blend of Middle Eastern flavours complement the gentle smoky there we go it's a smoky yeah smoky warmth of earth fiber an ideal addition to any lamb chicken or fish dish it it also brings life to your salads as a dressing so ingredients on this one so it says watermelon syrup filtered water red peppers onion sour orange juice pomegranate earth fiber flakes date syrup vegetable oil um, barberries sea salt and garlic dried lime so you've got quite a few sweet things in there you've got well you've got the wa watermelon syrup i'm not sure how sweet that is if it's like a proper syrup you've got uh hold on the onion um the orange and then um the lime so that will bring down the acidity there's no vinegar in this one so the acidity is all natural and then you've got the the date syrup so you've got your dates your pomegranate watermelon all adding to like a sweet side of it and the colour is lovely now I'm just going to shake this up quickly uh, we have got Frodo but we're not sure whether he's going to participate at all in this because he has his moments Frodo do you want to come this way this way are you going to are you going to show them your lovely face now Frodo is rare because he doesn't often come and sit here it's usually Boo's throne but today I think Boo's um got, got the gad on so we're going to have Frodo do you want to sit down Papa right you sit down here he, you see, he, he likes to turn his back on you, you know. It means when they turn oh, sideways on. Do you know what, leading to it, I was doing this, yeah. So this beautiful sauce, it's quite, I'm going to shake it up. No, it's not mega thin, but you can hear the gloopiness in it. Now, if you have a look, first of all, have a look at the label here. I mean, aren't the pink colours on there? Uh, Murphy Biber, and I do like the devil dog skull there, you know. That's really good. It's really good artwork. And then the sauce itself, check it out in the neck. If you look, you can see, the, check the pour out there as well, because it's quite a nice pour. But the ingredients in there, you know, it's a brown sauce, but you you can see, I can see lots of bits in there, lots of black flecks, it could be pepper, lots and lots of bits in there. There are like yellowy bits in there, but it's not a textured sauce, it's quite a smooth one. So, enough said, let's go into it. He's going to just keep me company. He's got to lean to it. Okay, here we go. Aroma time. Okay, now, first thing I smell is onion, right? So it has got onions in it. I can smell the onions. Let's just take this off for a sec. Do you know onions? Then there's a sweet smell. The sweet smell is probably dates and... Um, it's almost like a caramelised onion with like a sweet dainty smell to it now um and because there's no vinegar in it i can't smell any tang at all so the lemon juice and the orange juice that's in there is blended in and just got to pour it let's see if i can do this properly here it's it's, it's a nice um consistency on this one so you pour really nice and look at that it's really nice yeah like a really really nice rich brown sauce yeah check it out I hope that camera picks it up because sometimes I have problems with this camera. I'm just going to wait a few seconds. 
Wow. So I think you can see that. Now it just looks like a normal brown sauce, yeah, but obviously a normal brown sauce hasn't got your dates, your pomegranate, your watermelon in there. Um, I don't know what the ingredients of a normal brown sauce are because I don't buy it. <laughs> so <laughs> I've got this one. Now, try again. Okay, onions. And then there is that fruity. It's almost like, um, I wouldn't say Christmassy, but it's almost like that really nice, rich, sort of um, yum, sweet to it, yeah? Now, I've never had um, Urfa Biber Flakes. They're Turkish chilies, apparently. So Turkish chilies, these are, they've got dried flakes in them, and that could be the bits that are in there. So, you know what? Nothing for it. Down the hatch. Cheers. Wow. <laughs> Mm, okay, that is different. I'm gonna try a bit more now. Why is it different? Obviously, it's not a hot one, it says two chilies, but there is a heat. The heat goes through the mouth, that doesn't sit on the tongue, it little bit on the throat, and guess what? It's gone now. So, it's quite nice. The initial heat you get, and then you get a mouthful of fruit. So, you get like um, your oniony, datey, that sort of you know, almost a caramelized onion date type of mixture going through. It's nicely seasoned. There is no imbalance in salt or anything. Lovely thick consistency. It's a nice thick sauce. So it, it, it doesn't separate. It's thick, a beautiful consistency, and there's no bits in it. So it's a nice blended sauce. And I'm going to have to try some more because the taste is different. Now, I don't know whether it's the taste of the chilies that I've never had or whether it's just the mixture of the fruits that's in here because different fruits in that one. So... There is a sourness now. Um, the heat is there, as I said earlier. The fruit is there. The fruit and the onions gives you like the main body of the taste, yeah? And then there is a sourness, a little bit of, um, it could be the sour oranges, but it's not unpleasant. It actually goes really nicely with the whole sauce. So overall, not a mega hot one. Now, it says two chilies on there. To me, it's like a winter warmer. You know, like when you walk in front of the fire and you put your hands up there and you think, well, that's lovely and warm. If it tastes like that, but it's more flavoursome. The heat, I, I, I don't know what the taste of um, Earth Survivor chilies are. So there is a heat there to it, and I'm sure that's the chilies. They may have a fruity um, note to it, which may add to the dates and the pomegranate and the watermelon that's going in there. But that's a really nice, you know, it's, it's almost very fruity. You know, not like a pineapple mango fruity. But it has it's more like the caramelized onion type um date um that sort of fruity you know like the christmas dried fruit type fruity that sort of one but it's it's nice not unpleasant not unpleasant at all thank you liam for that one right now ramping up the heat a bit so we've got a four chili one and a five chili one <laughs> right i'm gonna change spoons because i think it's just fair now color wise this one's a different color so again check out the logo here this is the Gothu, um, Gochugaru, I hope I said that right, Gochugaru and ginger. I do like my ginger sauces, so look, here we go, especially this time of year, you know, when you've got cold, so hopefully that picks it up. Why isn't it? It's a bit foggy there. Ah, oh, now it's much better, look, Gochugaru, right. So a, a beautiful label, simple, nice colours, effective. Right, so let me just have a quick look at the ingredients. So, um, it's a hard-hitting sauce with a with the hot, sweet, and sun-dried Korean favorite gochugaru paired with the fruity punch of Scotch bonnets. That's why I hadn't heard of it. It's a Korean um, chili gochugaru, and I hope I pronounced that correctly. And it's got Scotch bonnets, so it's a hard-hitting one, isn't it? Um, and the peppery hint of fresh ginger, so the ginger comes in as well. Uh, finished with notes of the Orient, gives depth to any stir fries or um grilled chicken and fish right so okay, let's shake it and again it's not a mega thin one i mean none of these sauces are mega thin they're quite quite nice consistency but look at it look at the consistency of that sauce it's quite a nice pour and i don't know if you can see you've got bits in there let's just get a nice angle to it you've got bits of fleck flex in there um, it could be flex of chili, it could be anything, it could be all the ingredients. So it's it's a really nice, um, what's the word I'm looking for? 
silky smooth sauce it's almost like a silky smooth sauce it's not separated there's not too many bits in it now don't get me wrong i like bits and i like stuff without bits as well but i do like flavor so let's go into this one roma wow <laughs> straight away i'm gonna love this one i'm gonna love this one ginger now ginger and more ginger uh, let me see the aroma of ginger is coming through what other things did we have in here so oh i didn't actually do the ingredients earlier did i no i just did, read the description the ingredients were filtered water red bell peppers onions demerara sugar rice wine vinegar light soy sauce um gochugaru now i can't say this uh medjugaru um and then uh, glutinous rice flour barley water gluten scotch bonnet mash tamarind lime juice lemon juice and vegetable oil sea salt right so which one do i not have do you like this one not bothered you know it's just chilling out just got to leave into it right so let's have a look let's see if i can pour this one all right because i love the color of this one so if you can come up with a name for this color please let me know look at that now it's such a smooth pour it's a silky sauce really nicely blended a really nice mix there because there are you know there are sauces with bits that are great there are sauces that are so blended this one's almost like a tomato soup that you get in a tin so beautiful and oh the color's quite similar isn't it so ginger again lime now guys it says four chilies heat look i'll show you four chilies heat can you see that but i can't detect the heat in here so there's nothing for it cheers down my neck wow that is nice that is um oh it's warming up now wait a minute the first thing in my mouth was the heat of the ginger i felt it gingery and i said it was gingery it smells gingery so ginger comes in but it's a sweet there's a sweetness to it and then the heat isn't as hot now oh it's nice oh that's like um you know that would be brilliant in cold weathers uh winter uh, you know stir fries and things soups in like when it, when it's cold a bit like today um now i can't i'm just waiting for the heat to it's gone to the back of my throat but it's not like overpowering it's like a nice warming a winter warmer type thing mm, i'm just waiting now the taste gingery quite um initially gingery i'm just seeing what else is there that could add now the gochugaru chilies they may have um, a fruited note to it, but I can't quite detect it. Now, because you've got your sugar in there, you've got, hold on a minute, your lemon juice, your limes. I think it's caramelized and it's brought it down so the, so the, the heat isn't there as much. Now, for me, that I would say a really nice flavor, some sauce. It's a nice consistency, gingery. If you like your ginger, that's got quite a bit of ginger in it, yeah? So the first taste, you can smell ginger, you can taste ginger, and the other chilies that are in the scotch bonnets and the gochugaru i can't quite detect them so maybe they're blended nicely maybe they're um what's the word um from, i don't know if it's a fermented sauce i don't think it is so cook nicely down and you may get the hint of them and there is a warm all around my neck so you know this is quite a nice one for winter i think and you put it in anything it'll warm me up because you've got that ginger you've got the lemons in there i think the lemons in this one let me just check because i might be saying something wrong well you've got tamarind and lime juice so you know like your honey lemon ginger and this one's got your demerara sugar so it's almost like a really really nice sauce for this time of year but any time of year ginger is a fresh gingery taste right okay so the last one love the re label whenever people talk about the reaper it suddenly goes into like a red hot label or a black label check this one out the reaper it's like a death label isn't it reaper scorpion and seven pot i think it's just to warn us that that's a hot one now seven pot chilies i've not had many with seven pot but i've heard they're deadly mm, yeah. so again a beautiful worth selling your soul for so far the two i've had very different absolutely different i've not had anything like those before and they're really nice so let's go and see what this one's like so um again made in manchester now here we go so this one is seriously hot oh god i better get a good seat better sit my butt down properly so this is a seriously hot carolina reaper trinidad scorpion and seven pot is it dougla three of the hottest chilies fermented together 
to bring you your hardest hitter. So it's like um, three of the hottest chilies and it's fermented. So there's going to be quite a lot of like vinegary smells in there. Um, so here we go. All of the heat is matched by its flavour. Rich, sweet and fragrant, suited to any dish if you can handle it. It's obviously hot, rich and sweet. Let's see what it's got in it. So ingredients, orange juice, filtered water, red bell pepper, onion, distilled vinegar, Carolina Reaper mash, treacle and then Trinidad scorpion mash, demerara sugar, garlic, sea salt, dried seven pot dougla, cumin seeds and coriander seeds, star anise. Okay, looking at those ingredients, you've got the heat, you've got the sweet and you've got a hint of the the yeast, yeah, because you've got your cumin, you've got your star anise, you've got your coriander seeds. So I, I think I'm going to like this one. Yeah, mm, mouth is watering already. I've watered over those two, but mm, mouth is watering over it already. Okay, nothing for it. Let's give it. First of all, have a look. I didn't show you this before. It's a nice, thicky sauce. It's not too thin. All of the three, before I shook them up, they were the same consistency. Check that out. Yeah, nice consistency there. So, can you hear the gloop in that? It's not too runny, is it? It's a nice consistency, nice thick one. And then, just have a quick check of the label and the there we go, you see, show the label, I love the artwork, so Liam, whoever does your artwork, they're amazing, love it, and then, let me just try and get to the neck of the bottle, where are we, if you look at that, it's a beautiful colour, beautiful consistency, here we go, now, onions, vinegar, and you know what? I can't detect the heat. Now, because the way Liam makes his sauces, um, he's got the sugars in there, the sweet, like the sweet heat and that. So he may have brought the heat down. Oh, it's very creamy and beautiful. I just need to get some more of this out. This one is a little bit thicker than the other sauces. Just a little bit. It was a bit tricky to get it out because even though I shook it, I think the plug got stuck on the top. Now, it's a beautiful puree. Look at that, yeah? It's a really, really nice... Um, I'm just trying to get a decent... Ah, nice. Sometimes my camera picks it up, and sometimes it's just rubbish. Just need more practice at it. So, oniony, vinegary, hint of spice, but you know what? No heat. So I can't detect the heat at all in that one. Now, is it deceptive? Because this is a uh, five chilies. So it's a five chilies. Yes, it's a hot one. It's got to be careful, right? Here we go. Cheers down the hatch. It's a hot one. Okay, it's going up. I can taste the reapery. Oh my god, yes. Um, it is hot now it does not smell hot but i can t i can um it went straight on my tongue nothing but it kind of went from here down and i can taste like the reaper scorpion mix because because i'm kind of familiar with those flavors yeah so Re reaper scorpion i've not had um anything with seven pot in it before so the, the heat that's coming is from the chilies now that it's on the tip of my tongue and it's warm Apart from the heat, I could taste the onions in there. There was a hint of um, acidity, but you know what? Sometimes you have sauces and it, all you can taste, I mean, it's a fermented sauce. So all you can taste is the vinegar. You can't taste the vinegar. There's a tanginess, I would say. So the vinegar and the, I'm just thinking, what else did you have in there? Um, orange juice. So the tanginess will be from those two. It's still warm, but it's really nice. It's like, it's like nice. I think, um, you know what? I poked it with that, didn't I? So, it's really nice, right? But it is hot. Now, uh, for me, the hot doesn't mean that I can't have it. Um, I would say for me, the hot in this one is about, actually, four or five. Yeah, so for, for anybody else who doesn't eat chilies, this will definitely be a 10, 11. So be warned on this one. These heat guides that sauce makers put on the bottom 
are to be adhered to because just if I say oh it's not hot enough for me it doesn't mean it's not enough for, me, for you because it's been made for the general public and in the public we have people from all different levels of heat so this one is a warm one can't you see that look, look I don't know if you can see sweat yeah and sweat this is a warm one but it's flavoursome it's nice it's not oh it's nice yeah and I can still my tip of my tongue still burning and nowhere else it's just the tip of my tongue maybe it's because I licked the end of that spoon and it's and, and again as Liam said it's a flavor rich sweet and fragrant suited to any dish if you can handle it certainly that yeah certainly that now I fragrant wise I could I could only detect that the onions and the I'm just gonna check it was the onions yeah onions and then the um, tangy uh, vinegary lemony type of smell also there was a hint of like a spice yeah probably coriander uh, or cumin it was that sort of asian spice yeah but tasting it it's hot right and it straight away is hot but nice and i love what i like is the consistencies that's it the consistencies they're quite nice and thick but not too thick that you can't get them out okay three sources that were sent to me by liam from Devil Dog Sources, really nice name, really nice logo, nice, I love the artwork on it. And so, I've absolutely loved all three. There isn't a one that I can say I didn't like. Um, tasteful, flavoursome, yummy, hot. So if you like any of these three or any others from Devil Dog Sources, please do the usual, yeah? Order, 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 like, subscribe, lots of comments. If I can't answer them, Liam will. And guys, remember, as always, don't fear the reaper. Thank you very much for watching.